Hey everyone, Mercy here and I'm back at you with yet another manga haul. This haul is for the month of November. I mean, it's like the year 2021 just started and already So, yep, where does time fly? Anyway, straight down back into the manga haul. So, today is the 5th of November. So this is the stuff that came in this week. Uh, so let's not waste any time. Let's get down to it. So first up, we have Bleach, the Omnibus Editions, Volumes uh, 40, 41, 42 and 43, 44, 45. Now, there's a story behind why I chose to go in for these Omnibus Editions. Um, so straight, very early on in my collecting journey, when I first started, uh, now Bleach was one of the first anime that I, I mean, one of uh, my favorite animes the time I watched it, at least when it was airing, when I watched it, it was one of my favorites. Uh, I know a lot of people crap on it and all, but I enjoyed Bleach. Um, so the thing is, uh, Bleach was, uh, I wanted to start reading the manga straight off when I started my manga collection journey. So I, at that time, clueless me who didn't have any idea about the new nuances of collecting manga or that there were other versions available, I went in for this omnibus edition. Now, straight off the bat, this is some of the worst paper quality. The paper is like really very, very thin and flimsy and the, uh, you know, overall, the omnibuses, if you're a collector, the omnibus edition, you know, way is not the way to go. Now, I picked up collecting this series from where I left off in the anime, which was roughly around when box set 2, uh, the volumes at which box set 2 starts. So, I started collecting straight off then. Uh, at that time, I wasn't aware of the box sets. So, um, you know, I didn't think I'd invest and at that time it was totally out of my budget. So uh, I didn't want to invest in the box set. So I went in and bought the omnibus editions. Now these spines are very easy to crack and on the whole, I do think that the singles are the way to go. And if you want to save money, I suggest the box sets are the way to go. So I decided to start collecting these. Uh, they Bleach was put on the black back burner for me for some time because, um, yeah, I just sort of you know, fell out of reading it, but I have picked it up now and I'm really thrilled to continue reading this. On the whole, I love Tight Cubo's artwork and the story, I mean, the story. I'm currently in the Aaron Carr arc where this is currently going on. So I think his artwork is amazing. Among the three OG uh, Shonen series, uh, personally, I believe Bleach has uh, a better artwork. The action sequences flow really well. So yeah, this is Bleach, uh, this is uh, Omnibus with volumes 40, 41, 42 and collecting volumes 43, 44 and 45. Uh, if you are a hardcore collector, like I don't, um, this is not the way to go but uh, stupid me, silly me, when I started off I had no idea so I decided to stick to my guns and go ahead and collect the Omnibus up until the second box it gets over and then invest in the third box it uh, for the rest of it. It's gonna look pretty wonky in my collection, but hey, you know. Okay, here we have once again another um, omnibus volume, uh, and this collects what 39. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I'm almost done up to where box set 2 ends, and like I said, I will invest in box set 3. So, this is Bleach. Um, now, straight off the bat, I can't tell you, I forgot what this character's name is. I will put it up on the screen. Uh, but I enjoy Bleach. Uh, I believe where I am currently, Eliel makes, you know, appears in her true form. So that's where I am currently reading. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to get into this. Up next, I have volumes 15 and 11 of Fire Force. So now I have up to volume 15 complete. Um, now, an interesting thing I did find out is that this is going to be probably this author's last work. Um, kind of sad to see it go, but I want... And this, uh, where the manga currently is in uh, release in Japan and uh, 
is currently in the last arc things are really heating up so i can't wait to get caught up with this and i will be buying as 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 i've told you before uh fire force is one of my priority uh stuff that i'm going to buy uh, but it is going to take a bit of a back burner this month on so i don't know let's see uh, so this is fire force uh, i've always had an epic the back covers are always identical they are the same uh, so that's one of my main nitpicks i love gorgeous back covers so yeah fire force uh, on the whole the if if i'm not mistaken for volume 23 24 on and stuff like that the uh the covers stray from their original format that is with one character one or two characters you know on the front page and i do like the more recent covers that are coming out they do look stylized a bit more and i do like them but so far fire force 15 and 11 uh, so i'm now caught up to volume 15 i will be collecting more further ahead So up next I have a uh, Vinland Saga book 3. Now Vinland Saga was one of the first scene and I got into that and Golden Kamui. Uh and I got to say I don't regret my decision in starting with Vinland Saga. Uh I really enjoyed what I got so far of Vinland Saga. Uh I am collecting it slowly slowly piecing this together. I'm on book 3. I just finished book 2 about yesterday and uh now that I've uh you know unbox book 3 i am definitely getting into this uh it's an amazing seinen uh series if you want to give it a shot definitely give it a go i believe this author's other work is uh planet test uh now i'm not in a hurry to collect that right now uh, my priority will be on winland saga but if you like gritty viking based story so basically let me give you a synopsis of the story uh it follows this thorfin who is uh trying to get revenge for the death of his father uh and i got to say it's got an amazing villain in the form of asclad who uh who plays the villain let me see if i can give you a shot okay so this guy here this guy that's asclad the villain i don't know if the focus is really bad but um The story follows Thorfinn. Uh he joins Asclad's uh group of Viking uh, mercenaries uh and how he's trying to get revenge for his father. Uh so he you know he joins them wanting to get the revenge and you know, frequently challenging Asclad to duels. So so far he hasn't been very successful and this is his story now I know the uh, the latest volume has come out if I'm not mistaken it's volume 11 correct me if I'm wrong uh but uh, yeah I'm slowly piecing this together I know releases of this uh, particular series have been a bit on the slow side uh I want to read as much as possible of this and then move on to the anime because there is an anime for this and I have heard nothing but good things if you are a seinen fan definitely give this a go it is it's a good introduction to seinen and i enjoy it's got violence gore it's got everything drama you know it's an epic viking uh, saga if i haven't mentioned before this is uh, this is a viking based on vikings and uh, i believe the author did a whole lot of research work just to come out with this and i and it can you can it be seen in the series and i really enjoy this So that's it for this week. See you in the next one. Hey everyone. So I'm back and today is the 14th of November. Uh, these are the packages that came in this week. Now I uh straight off the bat want to say I was a bit worried about the packages that would come in this week cuz uh where I'm staying it was raining rather heavily and we were having some water problems with flooding and stuff. So uh I was kind of worried whether these packages would come in damaged. So let's have a look. Okay, straight off I'm seeing some damage in this volume. This is volume this is volume 22 of Narugami. So if you can see it's bent here and the page is like a little, you know, uh it's dented and ding so um yeah, not not the best. I wonder if I should return this. Uh anyway, this is Narugami volume 22. So Narugami I picked uh how I collected Narugami. Uh I watched the anime Season one and season two, and I loved it. So early on in my collecting journey itself, I decided I would uh, invest in uh, Noragami, but I didn't want to start off straight from. The 
which I think should be volume uh, 10 or 11. Yeah, I think it was volume 10. So I started off collecting from uh, this is volume 22. As of moment of recording this, this is the latest volume out. I do believe the new volume, volume 23, will be coming out this month. So when it does, I will. Uh, I love Norogami. I love the art style. Uh, this mangaka's art style is really nice. Uh, the paneling is done really well. Um, lots of action. There's everything. Uh, so basically, the premise of Norogami is um, there's this, um, there's this god, uh, the stray god, because uh, they have much of a following and stuff. He's like an outcast among the gods, and his goal, main aim is to you know amass a vast follow uh, following of followers and um, you know become popular among all the people so that people would come and pray to him and offer their respects and this is basically his journey he meets this girl on the way hiori and uh, she they develop a friendship and uh, you know their journey and this particular god um, this guy yatogami his journey on becoming a popular god on on amassing a following among the people so that's fun it's it's the comedy the comedy in this is really good the action is superb the art is really good i have seen the covers are really gorgeous uh, i love the looks to them they're also this lovely matte finish and i love my matte finish covers so yeah norigami volume 22 uh, currently i have till volume uh 2019 i think uh, 2021 should be uh, I have ordered them 22 we have seen is here so Noragami volume 22 next up we have Jujutsu Kaisen volume 12 now this is the most recent volume of Jujutsu Kaisen that has come out uh, and for a long time I was stuck at volume number I believe uh, I've read till volume 8 uh, I'm going the physical only route for Jujutsu Kaisen uh, and I have since it was at volume 8 I believe the Shibuya arc hadn't started yet let me get my info out hold on a sec yeah uh, so the uh, Shibuya arc hadn't we hadn't kicked off yet where I had started I believe volume 12 we are deep in the Shibuya arc and I hear it is an amazing uh, arc and it things really kick up a notch there i don't know whether i should show you stuff because it could be a spoiler uh i don't know uh so this is the latest volume of uh jujutsu kaisen i do have uh 9 and 10 coming in if all things go well and amazon doesn't cancel my order which they have been doing quite a jujutsu kaisen so yeah i love jujutsu kaisen the artwork with the anime can't wait for season two i hear it's going to take a turn moving further ahead and i'm hyped to see where it goes i enjoyed how much i've read so far and i wait eagerly for the latest volumes and i'm just glad i got this volume soon now we have bleach the three in one volumes 46 47 48 this is the last volume where box set two ends if i'm not mistaken uh, and we've got eisen right on the cover here uh, so i am going to be investing in box set three so uh, depending upon when that arrives i will be having an unboxing uh, but right now it's i i it's not i'm not sure yet whether i'm going to be purchasing anytime soon but we'll see uh, but bleach my like i have said in the previous clips that this has some of the best artwork among the og3 at least in my opinion the character designs are so unique tight kubo really out does well this uh, a new spin-off called burn the witch coming for which volume uh, one has been released i've seen the slip it's got this really nice plaid slip cover i'll put a picture of it up uh, if i can uh, so yeah burn the witch i believe uh, but it doesn't have a fixed shed uh, release schedule so that's why i'm a little hesitant uh, in going in that i want to finish bleach first um so yeah i love bleach i'm i'm unapologetically a fan of bleach uh, like i said i've been i'm currently in the aaron car uh, arc uh, and i want to see how it rounds itself up and going moving further ahead um so yeah tight kubo always good in my book 
I love his artwork in this like I said now uh, the omnibus versions which I've got mentioned before are not the best way to collect this the singles are the route and if you want to get the singles the box sets are the best way to go uh, it's more economical that way but uh, I have explained why I preferred the three in one so that's bleach I'm really hyped to see what get up. So what the sh what the arc entails entirely. So yeah, this is yeah. I don't know whether this exactly kicks off the Shibuya arc or it is more of a backstory from where I left in eight. It's a backstory of Gojo's backstory. So yeah, I'm interested in seeing where this goes. Jujutsu Kaisen always a thumbs up for me. <laughs> Okay, now for some romantic stuff, for some shoujo uh, property. Uh, this is LDK. Now I have to <laughs> very honestly say, I am not sure why I bought this. It was just sort of like an impulse buy. Uh, I've heard mixed things about this. Um, now, uh, this is a cohabitation romance, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So I am interested in seeing where this goes and i don't know whether i'm regretting it uh the spines um okay uh i don't know how i feel about these spines yet i generally like colorful spines with good designs and yeah basically i like colorful rainbow spines uh these are just a bit too similar and bland for my thing uh another reason for the attack on titan um, manga that i don't like is their spines i just do not attack on titan manga spines uh, these spines also look really i don't know and if you see this volume seems to be a bit yellow discoloration wise uh so yeah i am going to give this a fair chance um maybe do the three volume try out the three volume rule so i'll have to get one more volume to give this a fair shot uh but i'm keeping my mind open shoujo is definitely my alley and this is i've seen this particular series ldk on a lot of shoujo uh, manga readers uh you know collections so and i've heard mixed things about it i know a couple of people don't like it some people really do uh, so i will give this a fair shot so my manga uh, show this is my shoujo fix for this month so yeah that's all i got that came in this uh this week so uh this week this month's haul is not gonna it's gonna be a bit on the low downside uh and i'm trying to read more manga as much manga as possible i'm trying to up my so i will be uh, putting out a reading log this this month so keep a lookout for that uh, so yeah this is all that came in this week catch you guys in the next one and before i leave um, since i haven't done ready uh, i'd like to tell you guys just take some time why don't you guys smash that like button hit that beautiful red subscribe button become a subscriber to my channel if you haven't done so already and please please don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you're notified every time i post something new uh thanks for uh see you again next week guys with the next haul so till then till the next week till my next clip it's gonna be a week for me it's gonna be a few seconds for you but till then see you guys this is mercy signing out for now bye Hey everyone, so today is the 28th of November when I'm recording this and uh, I didn't record last week so I thought I'd, because nothing came in last week, these are the stuff that came in this week, uh, combination of last week and this week. So let's start opening them. First off uh, in the hall is Botokai Love is Hard for Otaku volume one uh straight off the bat i got to say uh it's really dirty i don't know if you can see all the you know the the dirt over there it's not even rubbing off so uh i don't know how to get this off uh also the back seems a bit dented here it's like there's a fold a crease there i don't know if you can you guys can see it uh, but yeah, uh, this uh, I decided to finally get a start on on this. Uh, I'd like to thank Boogie Snacks, the manga tuber, for getting me on this. He see, he raves about this series. 
but I do believe the releases are a bit far apart. Uh, I think the second last volume came out, fifth volume, I think it was, uh, came out. These are, I do believe, these collect more than uh, this collects volume one and two of the Japanese edition. Uh, I know volume five is out, just came out recently. Uh, volume six should be out next year. But I have heard that there was a like a like a, almost one a year or two year gap between some of the volumes uh so yeah I, this this dirt on this cover is really bugging me um i have to admit it was raining heavily when this came in uh it is raining currently here where i live uh it's the monsoon here so yeah it is dirty uh but this is follows the love life of some uh otaku these they, this is for those who like more age romances um i don't know whether this qualifies as a jose or a shoujo uh, but uh, anyway it follows the lives of i think i think four uh, uh, of three couples i think i think it is three couples uh, one is this main couple here then there are two other couples and uh, their journeys they are in the office working force and they are secretly all otaku and it is their journey to find love and you know their bonding their friendships and stuff like that uh, so yeah, um, but this I believe is our main couple. Uh, these two are some of the side couples and I don't know if they've introduced the third couple in this yet. Uh, so I don't know as of now, as right now, but from what I hear, these two used to be childhood friends and both of them are otakus and she has just joined a new job. She left her previous job because she was embarrassed that she was uh, all her relationships seem to fail once they discover that she's an otaku. So she's changed her job and she wants to hide the fact that she's otaku. She's an otaku at her new job. But she runs into this dude who happens to be her childhood friend who knows her secret and is also an otaku himself. So uh, I'm guessing there's going to be a romance between these two uh, characters. Uh, so yeah, love, Botokoi, love is hard for otaku. Uh, the anime is out. Uh, I have seen a few episodes and I liked what I saw. Uh, the anime was more like episodical. I don't know whether this will follow or whether it will follow an overarching story. But yeah, Botokoi, love is hard for otaku. Okay, so I finally did it. I started Chainsaw Man. Uh, I, I was I'm so 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 late to the on the train on this one. Uh, I I was he hawing for a long time whether I should get into this series or no. Um, I was I was really having my doubts even though it blew up in the manga community and people were raving about it. Uh, I was on the fence for the longest time, but I finally decided to you know buckle in and then start getting this uh, unfortunately <laughs> the minute i just i mean it's we all know the situation with chainsaw man uh, it's really hard to get these volumes so i'm breaking my chronological order rule and i'm just going to be picking up these volumes as and when i get them so this is volume three uh, now um yeah I do. I know this follows devils and uh, an agency trying to catch the devils, and they recruit the chainsaw devil and stuff like that. Uh, I will. I leave a, a small synopsis up on the screen right now. But I've heard great stuff about Chainsaw Man. It is getting an anime, and I will say the anime trailer went a long way in persuading me into finally getting into this series. I was a little scared whether it'd be too gritty, too violent for me. Uh, since, you know, I'm a bit on the mellow side. So anyway, uh, I did, I am going to start reading this. I'm wa still waiting to get more volumes. But since they're in such a shortage, I'm going to pick them up as and when I get my hands on them. So yeah, so this is volume three. Uh, yeah, uh, I know this is a new mangaka and I know his assistant is working on Hell's Paradise. Uh, one of his old assistants is the one who does Hell's Paradise. Hell's Paradise is another series that I was on the fence about but I am planning on getting into that as well. So Chainsaw Man, yeah, what else to say? This is uh, one of the most hyped mangas currently in the community. So I want to see where this goes. I really am. Straight off the bat, some of this artwork it's crazy it is really crazy uh so yeah uh chainsaw man now straight off the bat when i look at this i can see that the spine is there's a bit it's it's creeping here it's a bit misaligned 
so yeah that that bothers me but considering how hard it is to get my hands on these volumes uh, i will take what i get so next up we have waiting for spring volume 5 now waiting for spring uh, is a shoujo uh, i believe this guy will play the second male lead um i have till volume 4 already i'm picking them up a bit slowly they are not very high uh, on my priority list right now but from what i i read till volume 3 i think 3 3 or 2 i think i've read till uh, i enjoyed what i got so there's this <coughs> girl uh, and uh, she comes across these the princes of her school these four guys all of whom happen to be on the basketball team so uh, she ends up befriending them and this guy is the main lead uh and uh, this follows how uh, she falls in love with this guy i i considering all shoujo's that's shoujo's that's where this is probably headed so she falls she's falling for this guy and when they first meet up these guys are straight off rude to her you know they they're like so mean to her uh but then she takes it in her stride in the in her stride and they get to know her and they become really good friends and this is their relationship now this guy is one of her friends from her childhood and uh, she hasn't seen him in a long time and finally he uh, they end up meeting at some event where these guys are playing and this guy is also on the rival uh, team's <clears throat> basketball team so he has come to watch the match where he sees her uh, and so he I, he's it's pretty clear he's got feelings for her so he wants something she want she's into this guy and she's a little hesitant with this guy so i am it's a typical shoujo i'm interested in seeing where it goes i believe there are 14 volumes uh, i uh, i'm not very very sure uh, the art style is really really cute um yeah so i'm going to be picking this up as i go uh, i enjoyed what i read so far and for those of you who like shoujo and stuff um yeah I would definitely recommend this if you like are into uh, fluffy fluffy shoujo high school shoujo stuff. So yeah, that's waiting for spring volume 5. Okay, so next on in the hall is Noragami volume 2021. Um so Noragami uh if you If you're a stranger to uh, if if you're a stranger to this channel you should know I'm a big fan of Noragami I love it um my reading log for November is up this is the first time I've done a reading log so if you have time uh, I go and more into volume the volumes I'm currently reading in Noragami in depth there so I leave a card up somewhere so Noragami what do I say I I unabashedly love this uh, series uh I love these covers. I think this is one of my favorite covers. I I'm a sucker for purple and blues and pinks and stuff like that. But the covers on Noragami, they are just gorgeous. Uh and the artwork's really good. Um I'm I'm slow beginning to catch up where I am right now. Uh where the series is right now. I think volume 23 is out as we speak right now. Uh, so I have up till volume twenty one now, uh, but I do believe releases have slowed down for this particular series. I don't know. I heard somewhere that it's reduced to one volume a year, which is a bit sad. Um, but I unabashedly love this. Uh, I currently I'm in volume eighteen, so beyond that I don't know where it goes, how it's headed. Uh, but this they do tease a bit of a romance between the this guy and he that is Yato. and hiori uh, he definitely has got feelings for her she's also sort of hiding so this has got uh, a slight tinge of romance though the romance just take a bit of a back seat it's got a heck of a lot of action uh, the action is amazing so if you are into that into that and great art i do suggest you pick this up cuz it's it's really worth it I, i enjoy this series um i picked up from where the anime left off but i do not regret investing in the series so uh i don't know if i've explained the basic premise of this uh it's like every hall's got some noragami in it so i'll just give you a quick premise so this guy is yatogami this uh he's a stray god and he's trying to set his foot in the in the world of gods and he wants to amass a mass following uh have his own shrine and stuff and he befriends this girl who ends up becoming half ayakashi so uh 
they befriend each other he gets he make he he uh, you know sort of employs a shinki named as yukine so it's basically the three of them uh, the hurdles they face the hurdles he faces in the background there's the sinister character called the crafter so he's also pulling the strings there and you know stuff like that there's mystery there's a lot of comedy there's there's a surprisingly good amount of heart the artwork's amazing the action sequences the action i got to say the action sequences in noragami are top notch so if you're into shonen's and and you like them light funny i definitely suggest you give this a chance because uh i enjoyed it i personally enjoyed it if you want you can check out the anime because i think the anime is also really good both the seasons of the anime are top notch i really enjoyed it so yeah noragami volumes 20 and 21 and last but not the least we have eden 0 volume 13 so i think this is the latest volume out now at the time of recording eden 0 so now i don't i'm I'm scared to open it to show you. Uh, scared that uh, it may have some spoilers. Um, but yeah, things are heating up in uh, Eden Zero. I don't know anywhere where this is going. Uh, I'm currently in Volume Eleven or Twelve or something like that. And yeah, uh, this is. I'm guessing this is after the fight with Dragon Joe. Uh, and I think the new arc starts. So we're going to have an idea of where the. series is going from there on the artwork is very reminiscent of uh, hiro mashima's works a lot sim- very much like uh, many of the character designs are similar to fairy tale and what can i say if you like fairy tale you are going to enjoy eden zero for me eden zero has got a bit is a bit better than fairy tale so yeah eden zero uh, i unabashedly love it and what would this hall be if there was not an eden zero uh, volume in one of my halls so that's eden zero volume 13 the latest that's out uh now listen that this is all i got in this week uh so let me give you a shot of that so while you're here please uh if you have some time uh, please smash that like button It helps me out hit the subscribe button uh become a subscriber to my channel and please don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you're notified every time i post something new uh And so this is going to be uh, the last clip for this haul. Uh, and please, if you want to contact me on any of my social media, links are in the description down below. My Twitter, you can hit me up simply at mercy underscore d. Instagram at mercy underscore sd. Check out my funny pajamas Facebook page simply at funny pajamas. Uh, uh, I've put up the links in the description, and they're also up on the screen right now. So do check them out. Uh, and if you do want to contact me, my email, my email is up on screen right now. Simply uh, on mercy at funny hyphen pajamas dot com. Pajamas with a Y. So that's all I have for this month's haul. This is my November haul. It is a bit uh, on the mid size this month, uh, but I like the series I've got that I've got. Uh, so yeah. So. This is all I have right now. Uh so I hope to see you guys in my next video. Do check out some of my other videos that are up right now. Would do me a big big help. So that's all I have for you right now. Uh I'm going to sign out with this uh and this is Mercy signing out. Bye. Have a good one everyone.